Have you ever wondered what happens inside your car's transmission when you step on the gas and the vehicle surges forward? If you're driving an automatic, the magic lies in a device called the torque converter. It's not as flashy as a turbocharger or as iconic as a V8 engine, but without it, your automatic car simply wouldn't move. The torque converter is a vital link between your engine and your wheels, a hydraulic coupling that multiplies torque, absorbs engine vibrations, and enables smooth gear shifts without needing a clutch. In this video, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of torque converters, what they do, how they work, and why they're so essential in automatic transmissions. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. At its core, the torque converter is what allows the engine to keep running, even when your car is standing still. In manual transmission cars, the driver has to disengage the engine from the wheels using a clutch. But automatic transmissions don't have clutches in the traditional sense. Instead, they use torque converters. Located between the engine and the transmission, the torque converter connects directly to the engine's flex plate, and its main job is to transfer rotating power from the engine to the transmission, while also allowing for a bit of slippage, meaning the engine can spin independently of the wheels to some degree. This is why your car doesn't stall when you stop at a red light. So how does it do that? A torque converter looks like a large metal donut, and inside it are three main components, the impeller, the turbine, and the stator. All of these are sealed within a housing filled with automatic transmission fluid. When the engine turns on, it spins the impeller, which is essentially a set of blades connected to the housing. As the impeller spins, it flings transmission fluid outward via centrifugal force. That fluid hits the blades of the turbine, which is connected to the transmission input shaft. As the fluid strikes the turbine blades, it causes the turbine to spin, and just like that, rotational energy is transmitted from the engine to the transmission. But there's more. As the fluid exits the turbine, it's now spinning in the opposite direction of the impeller. If we let that fluid loop straight back to the impeller, it would slow the whole system down. That's where the stator comes in. Positioned between the impeller and the turbine, the stator redirects the returning fluid so that it re-enters the impeller in the correct direction, increasing efficiency and torque. This redirection of fluid helps the torque converter multiply torque, especially when the car is starting from a stop. Depending on the design, a torque converter can multiply torque by two or even three times, giving your vehicle the grunt it needs to move smoothly off the line. This torque multiplication is what gives automatic cars their characteristic smooth and powerful launch. It's one reason why trucks and heavy-duty vehicles benefit from torque converters. They need that extra torque to get going under load. Once the car gains speed, though, torque multiplication is no longer needed. That's when something called the lockup clutch comes into play. Modern torque converters are equipped with this clutch that engages at higher speeds, creating a direct connection between the engine and the transmission. This eliminates slippage, improves fuel efficiency, and reduces heat buildup. Without the lockup feature, your car would be wasting energy as heat due to continuous slippage at cruising speeds. Over the decades, torque converters have become more advanced. Early models were simple and relied on mechanical principles alone. But today's versions include computer-controlled lockup clutches, variable vane designs, and more efficient fluid dynamics, all optimized for better fuel economy and smoother performance. You might not feel it, 
but your car's computer is constantly adjusting the behavior of the torque converter based on throttle input, load, and speed. This ensures the most seamless and responsive driving experience possible. Still, torque converters aren't perfect. Because they rely on fluid dynamics, there's always some inefficiency compared to a manual clutch. That's why dual clutch transmissions and continuously variable transmissions have gained popularity, especially in performance and fuel efficient vehicles. However, torque converters still dominate in most traditional automatic transmissions, particularly in mainstream cars, trucks, and SUVs. They're reliable, durable, and great at handling the torque demands of heavier vehicles. What happens when a torque converter fails? Symptoms might include shuddering at low speeds, strange noises like whining or clunking, overheating or poor acceleration. In some cases, a malfunctioning lockup clutch can cause the engine to stall at stops, defeating one of the main purposes of the torque converter. Thankfully, torque converters are built to last, often surviving the lifetime of the vehicle when properly maintained. But they can be damaged by low or dirty transmission fluid, so regular maintenance is key. Keeping your transmission fluid clean and at the right level ensures that your torque converter functions smoothly. Transmission fluid not only transfers power, it also lubricates and cools the internal components. Over time, heat and friction break down the fluid, reducing its ability to transfer torque efficiently. That's why it's always a good idea to follow your vehicle's recommended transmission service intervals. Replacing a failed torque converter can be labor-intensive and costly, so prevention is definitely better than cure. Let's recap. The torque converter is a type of fluid coupling that connects the engine to the automatic transmission. It allows your car to idle without stalling, multiplies torque during acceleration, and uses a lockup clutch to maximize fuel efficiency at cruising speeds. Inside this spinning metal donut are the impeller, turbine, and stator each playing a crucial role in transferring and manipulating hydraulic energy. Without this clever piece of engineering, the smooth ride we associate with automatic vehicles simply wouldn't be possible. So the next time you cruise effortlessly through traffic or climb a hill without shifting gears, remember that the torque converter is working quietly behind the scenes turning engine power into forward motion. It may not be glamorous, but it's a brilliant piece of mechanical engineering that makes driving automatic cars effortless and enjoyable. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.